All right, let's get one thing out of the way first before we start this. Smash Brothers Ultimate coming out in December, and it's likely that after that releases, I won't be touching Smash Wii U for a while because I have done everything in this game as of this current point, and there's nothing really else for me to touch this for except to go back to it, and maybe to do some more stuff. So I figured. If I'm not going to be doing any more Smash Bros. Wii U videos after Ultimate releases, I might as well give Smash Bros. U one final send-off. And I thought that the best way to do that is with another final Amiibo tournament. Now, since the last tournament, which was quite a while ago I think, I did do a lot of tweaking with some of the other amiibos. I, since I unlocked all the custom moves for each of the fighters, I went back and looked over all of the different custom moves and changed some of them for each of the fighters. For each of the different amiibos, all of them. And... Man, did that take a while. So... You're gonna have some returning faces. You're gonna have some newcomers, which you probably haven't seen in the videos before. And... Because I can't be entirely trustworthy in how I regard it with sometimes, I'm going back to my old recording style just in case, because reasons. Now for the actual brackets, we're going to go back to the 32 man tournament that we did back in the very beginning, except once that 32 goes, we will be doing, uh, yeah, two one on ones after that. And then at the very end, that will just be the last one on one, but. But the question, the problem is, I don't have 32 amiibo, but instead I have 54 in total, which, wow, am I right? So much money that I've put into tech statues. But yeah, I went for figuring, like, hey, how am I going to get 54 amiibos into a 32-man bracket? Well, that's easy. Thanks to the power of the 8 player Smash, we're able to do 3 matches off the bat to eliminate some of the weaker level people so that we don't get w wipes in the tournament and have the usual suspects be at the very end. Which is very likely that is going to be the case anyway. So, for our first match, we are going to be having... We are going to be having... Ag again... I don't know why I'm saying this, but I did do some tweaking of some people, some of the fights as well, as you can see, some of the name changes or whatever. We have Swordball, previously Metagod, Stefax, Light Angle, previously Pitpots, Revali, previously Cockwaffle, Dankpot, previously Dark Clone, Cronando, Yom, previously Bookworm, and XDDD, starting off. Same rules as always. A Smash Balls being the only one on, and random Omega stage. That thing is taunts on Smash Temple. Wow. So let's see if I can remember where I place the different moves for each of the uh, fighters. Mad Knight is on this page somewhere. Entangling Tornado, Shield Breaker Drill, Shuttle Loop, and Shield Piercer. I'd love to go into more details. I'll probably just write them down. Maybe not. Yeah. Don't even know. Uh, so, starting off the bat, we have Dank Pot, who's taken a bunch of damage. We also have Yom, who just comp someone completely eviscerated Dank Pot. I, I might as well just go over some of the uh, different name changes. I changed Metagod to Swordball because, well, Metagod wasn't really that good of a name anyway. And I didn't really like Pit Boss after he was first introduced, so I changed him to Light Angle because Light Angel. And then I changed Cock Off to Revali after Breath of the Wild, and now my Revali Amiibo, because they have the Champions Amiibo, I named that Amiibo for Falco in honor of, you know, Falco here. And I chose the bluest one I could choose. And some more people taking down Stefax, losing life. Uh, Dank Pot, I heard that name on a stream that someone did a Smash Rovers, and that was pretty funny to me, so I decided to change it to Dank Pot. And then Yom from Bookworm, because 
Well, unfortunate to say, I am not an American. I didn't think of the immediate Red Robin jokes. What a shame, right? But, as we can see right now, it looks like Cronando is 8th place in this tourney. What a shame. Isn't that right, everybody? What a, what a, what a gosh darn shame. Man, that people are beating each other. You know, it's exciting just to see all of these tournaments go on because I have all the things to say about the fighters. Am I right or am I right? I did change some of the uh, custom moves. And I I'm still what, debating whether or not to put them in the uh, description or not. All the different changes. But it's just hefty. I was thinking, hey, maybe during these matches I can explain the different moves I added to the people. But no. Rivali got 7th place, what a shame. I feel so bad for it. And then Stefax taking his shot, being 6th place. And then Met Swordball being in the, the screen KO. And Dank Part 2, oh, what a shame. Oh man, who's gonna win? Top Spin Gordo or Red Robin? It's all up to... And with that, we have our answer. Our winner for this first match is... XDDD. Doesn't mean he used to be a DDD, it's XDDD. There you go. Everyone's leveled up. There you go, all that. Alright. So we have XDDD to put to the side for later. You'll see why I say that in a minute. And for now, it's time for us to go to our next match. Which is going to take a while because I need to scan all the things. Now for our second match in the qualifiers, we have Hoo-Ha, Samusless, changed from Suitless, Chad, Loose Sluice, changed from Lucy Lou, The Tank of the Jig, Shaq, changed from Speedy Man, and Psycho. Let's hop right on in as an airplane flies incredibly close to my house for some reason. Although not incredibly close, just close enough to be heard. I don't even get it. If I knew, I would tell you, but I don't. Okay, I thought I was going to crash for a second. Uh, Samus List was changed because Suit List did just sound like a dumb name, and I wanted something that ro rolls up the tongue a lot better. So we got Samus List. And then we got Loose Loose, which, if you remember, is tied to Marth because, you know, Echo Fighters, but that's only what they're called now. And then Shaq, which is a change of Sheik. I can't remember what I was going to call her instead, but... Anyways, Hoo-Ha and the Tank taking their stocks as they go, as they please. And another people taking damage. And just so much carnage all the way through. Ah, uh, let's just check all that out. Now obviously, if you recall, the DLC fighters don't have any custom moves of their own. Did you see that? Hoo-Ha just kind of... And Tank. What is... <laughs> My god. I feel so bad for who are in the tank because they both SD's in the same place. Because they couldn't up B correctly. I feel bad for them. I can't even remember what I was going to say. <laughs> oh well. Although I hope for uh, the Jig to win because I feel like she could do a lot more better things in the end. Whoa! And with that, the Jig gets out. So much for my hopes. I wonder if Chad's going to beat everyone. Or maybe a psycho. Psycho could be bring stuff out from the back. Who knows? Anything could happen at this stage. Anything at all. And we have a slide. Oh, Shaq is still in for some reason. And there goes Psycho. Who is going to win this match? Maybe it's Chad. He has two stocks still. Because he has his hardy modern Monado arts. I think he's just a more free fighter now. Because again, she did some moves. Uh, let's see. Shulk. Yeah, he, Shulk is an all free. And like that, he takes his stock finally, and Loose Loose is hanging on the edge. I mean, look at that, one, two, three. Oh, critical hit! Is, is she gonna get up the critical hit? And she misses! Luckily, she doesn't self destruct by going too far off the side. What a shame. But at least everyone's leveling up. Am I right or am I right? Loose Loose still hanging in there somehow. I have a feeling that Chad might be winning this. Although I'm not quite sure. Oh, and Samus gets taken out by Loose Loose. 
I feel for her in her time of need. Is she going to succeed? Who knows? I pray for her all day and all night for this one specific moment. Once they find from the Grace Grace. Or Gracie Grace, at least. Come on, Loose Loose, I believe in you. Chad needs to be taken down. The Patriarchy. Okay, maybe not. He's got to use his trusty uh, smash. This could end terribly. And Chad wins. <laughs> And there you go for that. Now Chad needs to be put aside for a few moments from now. And there you go. Everyone's leveled up and everyone's, everyone's stuff and that. Let's go. Continuing on. And again, it's going to take a long time because of all the scanning and stuff. It's a bit strange how they can't like, have more than eight figurine players at the same time. Although I guess it makes some sense. But details. See you with this next match in the qualifiers. And finishing off the third match of the qualifiers, we have Sword Boy, previously my man, Streets, previously Guy Man, Zendo, previously Void Maiden, Saw Dragon, which I think was that for a while because they changed it out after with Rayquaza, Funidogi, changed from Seymour, Sudowser, which I think is. Staying from when he used to be, I'm not quite sure. Warrior Man and Mega Mario to finish off our eight person qualifier bracket round, whatever. Let's keep going. Hooray! Zendo was changed for the same reason that Sheik was changed because Zendo is just a bastardization of Zelda, and I think that's funny. As I got rid of the Rick and Morty references because of the Zet Apocalypse, and I, I am to say it's a shame because we won't have uh, Morty anymore. But I think we have a better replacement for Morty. We have to see that in the actual bracket. And then we have Streets because I couldn't think of anything better after Guy Man. My creativity. And I chose Funny Doggy because he is a funny doggy. And I didn't want to have future references anymore because who knows. And Warrior Man takes a stop. As the streets, everyone's just dying. What a crazy world we live in. Am I right or am I right? What a shame. Now, as you all remember, Mega Mario is from. Oh, Streets is dead, don't worry, man, it's dead. Mega Mario is actually not an actual Smash Mario amiibo, it's actually the 30th anniversary overall amiibo. So, it's the red and blue 8 bit Mario. From Mario Maker. Don't know why I'm pausing so much for this, it's crazy. But, yeah. I, someday I'll get that Mario Amiibo. I saw one in CEX one time, like a couple of days ago, and I was so tempted to get it, but I also wanted to get one that had the backplate, which I'll still miss from, uh, because when I first got Stabby, I threw away his backplate like an idiot because I didn't realize I'd start collecting them in the future. So now he's just like the only one that's missing in my uh, collection. And I don't want any more missing like that. Plus, there's a bunch more that's in my collection now. I got the giant Detective Pikachu amiibo. That thing is huge. <laughs> my Christ. So, in this match, we still have Sword Boy, we have Zendo, we have Zard Dragon, and Sword Boy's dead, and we have Funny Doggy and Mega Mario. Everyone seems to be taking a bunch of damage, but Star Dragon seems to be in the advantage because of his 36%. Did he? Oh, I thought he just clobbered the both of them at the same time, just then. Or is... Nope. Star Dragon's just gonna take everything. Who are these people that are just coming in and taking everyone out like, real quickly like this? Star Dragon, my god. You crazy thing. You really are a crazy thing. That was a two minute match. Two minutes. Just the two. Just two. What a crazy thing. Okay, so we have our people. We have Star Dragon, we have Chad, and we have XDDD. But then again, that was 24 people. And out of the 54, we have only 30 left in the bracket. So what are we going to have to do? Well, you'll see in just a minute. So we have our three people here that are the winners of the qualifier rounds but we only have two spots left 
in the remaining bracket for these two that are going to eventually win. So I'm going to change our stocks up to three just in a minute. But also, to make things more interesting, I'm going to start fighting as well. So whoever wins out of this, me excluded, the first two people, first and second, or second and third, yeah, second and third, either of those two, whoever ends up winning, are going to be the two that end up in the next, in the next tournament bracket. So this is the end of the qualifiers, so I'm going to start with what we do. And because I feel like I'm kind of a douche today, I'm going to choose uh, Dr. Marin. Because, let's go. And I didn't change Dr. Wood to Dr. Marin anyway. I wish I could did now, because it's actually a funny name. So now I have more to talk about in this match. Hooray. Am I right or am I right? Now the advantage to the figure fighters in this match right now is that, well obviously they have custom moves, so they're going to end up doing a lot more than I could ever do as a regular one Dr. Mario. Then again we did have the DL some of the DLC characters in there as well, so they could have feasted with their own moveset as well. That's basic. And Chad takes his first stock, what a sh- what a- not really a shame. And then there's also XZDD taking a stock too. And I'm going to do my best as a Dr. Mario that I know I can be. It's crazy. I mean, I could be talking about some of the stuff that I'm excited for in Smash Ultimate, which is quite a few things. But I'm going to save them for uh, when the time comes. When the game releases. I will say right now that as soon as the uh, email I got came through saying that pre-orders were available for Smash Ultimate, I jumped right onto the Nintendo website and pre-ordered that shit immediately. <laughs> because I know what I'm getting into, and I know that I'm going to enjoy the purchase anyway. I know, my final Smash, am I OP for these young level figure fighters? Who knows? Zard Dragon's at level 26, what? The rest of them are like 15 and 16, how is this possible? I don't know. I did take my first stock just earlier, and Chad seems to be losing, even though he's got his jump on. I'm gonna leave Chad alone. I gotta give him a chance. A fighting chance, if you will. Which he says just about the down air on chat right there. Okay. Capsule! Eat your vitamins. Take your vitamins, y'all. Way, hooray, way. Saw Dragon? Oh no, he just gotta grab me instead. What a, what a, what a fool. Why is he doing this? Ow, that hurt. Get back here. Okay. I have a feeling I'm going to be doing another match like this with the eventual winner, which I fairly certain is going to be stabby and I'm not going to like it. Although, we're going to have to see, aren't we? And Star Dragon with the one stock, I'm the only one with two because I'm too good for this game and Chad is out on the chance. So XDDD and Star Dragon are going to be the two people that are moving on. Ow, with a top spin. They combine their attacks together. How could- ow. Those bumbling idiots. So yeah, if you didn't already get what I said earlier with me excluded, I'm not going to be playing in the Amiibo Tony because, well, as you can see right here, I'm not going to be uh, accurate. And it's all about watching the computers play the game, am I right? Okay, oh. Stop hitting me, please. Oh, I almost reflected the corner back at DQD, but he was too good. Wait! Oh, no, that's me. Okay, the second and first place. Star Dragon being first, and XZZ being second. Well played, Star Dragon. You're a good Pokemon. You did really good for, for a Pokemon anyway. Three minute match. Wow. So, yes. Considering that the actual tournament was going to take a long time, I'm going to give this session a quick break and uh, get back to you with the actual tournament when that's ready to be done and recorded because I'm not getting enough time nowadays to do any recording like this which is somewhat of a shame but yeah you know reasons but that's it for the qualifiers I'll see you back in a few moments for the actual tournament which I hope you'll enjoy see you then Stepping right back on into the tournament, 
starting off our very first bracket, first round of round one, before we get to the quarterfinals, we've got Ashley, which I believe is different, I can't remember if Ashley was in the video before, we have Rosalina, who used to be Lunoir, but I'll explain Rosalina when we get to the actual match, then we have Zardragon, which uh, we already explained because he won the last qualifier round, and then we also have XDDD fighting it out for this very first match to see how things are going. So, why did I change Renoir to Rosalina? Well, in the unreleased As of This Part episode of, of episodes of My Galaxy that I did with Multi Nation guys, quite a while ago from now, I for some reason decided to give Rosalina a Russian accent. And for some reason that stuck to me. And I found it funny. So I gave her the reddest costume that was available, which is this one. And then also looked for the closest uh, name in Russian to Rosalina that can work. And sure enough, Rosalina was one of them. So we have Rosalina. And then also we have Ashley, who used to be... Uh, I can't even remember what Ashley used to be in terms of names. I, I swear there is a name that Ashley had, but I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, ever since the Ashley uh, character costumes came out, I decided to change them to that. And the reason why it's Ashley question mark is because, fun fact, unless there's some way I don't know about, you can't change the me on your me fighter amiibo unless you reset the whole thing. So we have this old Smirsh me fabricating himself as Ashley. Because if I had the chance to, I would have been like, hey, here's Ashley, Sample 17, I believe she's called. Would have had that instead. But anyways, focusing on the match right now, we have XDDD, who seems to be in the most percentage in the least lives, but he seems to be doing pretty well as a heavy fighter himself. And today's going to be a long day because of all the match you get to do. I mean, yeah, the 32 Amiibo tourney back in the day was really simple to do, but I can't remember how long that took. And it seems like Rosalina is in the lead, unless she's going to fall over and fall flat on her face. And again, if you couldn't already tell, this next, like, later hat, or well, the actual main tournament, has got the high level play. So you know you're going to be able to see Stabby fight off at the very end. But looks like Rosalina's taking a stop, and Ashley gets rid of Saw Dragon, Just like that. Poor Saw Dragon, he did his best. He got out of the qualifiers only to lose in the first round. What a shame. It really is quite a shame. And XDD seems to be following his punishment suitably. And Ashley seems to be doing his dancing. He's, he's pretty good at what he does, you know. Just being Ashley, you know. With his uh, sword beams and whatever. Again, I think I changed around most of these uh, Amiibo Fighters movesets. Unless anyone really wants to know about them, I might put them in the description or the comments. Who knows, who cares? I've already got them all written down, so I know for future. But these guys are going to be passed on to Ultimate, which I am happy for when that goes on. And XDDD takes himself out! I guess it makes sense because he's level 19, but I'm surprised that Star Dragon was 4th place, considering that he's caught up to levels with Ashley and Rosalina. What a shame. But who is going to win? Is it going to be fake Ashley or Russian Rosalina? I've got hopes for it, both of them at the same time. And like that, Ashley knocks out Rosalina and almost dies herself. Or himself. Who knows? It's Ashley, alright. Such a happy thing. There's your stats. Everyone's leveled up. And there you go. So, now it's time for our second little match as we put Ashley in the next bit. Ashley. And be right back in a moment. Yeah, you wouldn't expect to see us a new face right off the bat, wouldn't you, in this tournament? Yeah. So we have our classic people, Roberto, the Poncho, and Family Bot. But we also have Cornholio, the first Corrin. And as you can tell from the costume I gave it, it's the male Corrin. I think it's the female Corrin. And both the bayonetas, sweater alert bayonetas on this tournament machine. <laughs> oh, I'm going to die in this heat. <laughs> okay, no. 
So I changed the poncho, I gave him a tuxedo because it see, fit, fit better with him. As for everyone else, they seem to be doing their normal stuff as well. So we can only hope that one of these guys comes out on top. I mean, we do have the poncho. I do like him a lot, even though he is a mystery to us all. Which is exactly why I'm taking a drink and doing no commentary at all. And of course, we have this cloud Final Fantasy VII stage, which, alright. Oh man, I, just, I, I kinda wanna talk about Smash Ultimate a little bit more, but save enough for that video that's gonna be released at some point. I don't know if it's gonna be released after this or before this. You'll know when this video actually releases, but as for now, this is what it is. Roberto and Quanjo and also Barry Lott. Well, it seems like no, Cornelio is doing pretty well for being high level out there. Ugh, what? And Cornelio takes Family Bot's stock. And Cornelio seems to be doing his good job. Now, I, I can say that I did do a video with Cornelio in him, in that video, to show off Yumi for the first time. And this was before Miva shutting down. So, that was a video which. And it basically served as me looking at Miiverse for one last time, and then also cataloging all my Miiverse posts. And uh, I don't know whether or not to release it yet, because the, uh, I, I fell from my usual mistake with these videos for like the first part of it, so I could read them the next again. And it's a shame, because it was a cool move in one of them. And also looking at all of the Miiverse stuff, which only I could see at that point. So it's... Uh, that Miiverse stuff is kind of lost forever, but... Oh well. I could probably have the reactions in there somewhere, but it's up for me to figure it out and do it, whatever. Uh, it, don't, it only depends on whether or not this actually does happen. But it seems like everyone's actually putting up a really good fight. Poncho, with his free stock, he might be the one that's winning this, and he almost sd But Fat Roberto does his down smash and knocks everyone out of the family bot. He's at his last life. He's level 30, high as he st high as he not. <laughs> I, 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 he should be winning, he's a higher level. That's how levels work. Even if you're level 50, you'll lose sometimes. I mean, not everyone's perfect. Oh, well, except for Stabby, but, you know, Stabby. Stabby is Stabby, and he be who he be. It's, it, ah, oh, jeez, it's like the middle of summer and it's so hot outside, I can't even bear it. Man, I, I was barely able to get to sleep last night because of the heat. No, oh, jeez, like you need to know this. Ah, uh, so Cornelio with that 170%. I'm surprised he's still alive. Although it takes one shot, just like that. And he's still in it. My god, Cornelio. You are a rebel. Or maybe you just have high defense. And Roberto takes out another puncho stop, just like that. We have Family Bot taking fourth place in this match matchup. And everyone's at equal standings. Who's gonna win? Who knows? I've got my bets on the Poncho because it'd be funny to see Ashley and Poncho fight each other. Let's see who is the best me fighter out of there. Well, who can really tell? No, I right or am I right? It, it's, it's strange, because they are... Uh, I don't know why it's strange. It's, just, it's strange to me that all of the, uh, the me, uh, me fighters are... Nice. And Cornelio takes out because he couldn't make it back. Cornelio is third place. And all the, what was that move by Roberto? Jesus, I need to look at that in replay. Please show me. Thank you. Roberto is the winner for this round. Let's write him down. Roberto. And we move on. Just like that. 494% damage. God damn. So yes, because it's been two badges of four amiibos, so that makes eight. We're gonna have to do a little break just to get to the next third match, so see you when I see ya. And for our third match today, we have Hifumi, the Blood God, Green Ninja, and Lugi. Let's keep going straight on into it, shall we? Now, you might remember, hey, I remember a certain person being called Flatty back in the day. Well, yes, Flatty was in existence, but I did do a thing at one point, and now Flatty has been changed to Hifumi. So if you could piece together why Hifumi and Red and 2D 
then you can win everything. And another, an, another thing I can say, well actually first off, I just remember this, uh, I put Chain Judge on Hifumi because I love that side beat. Because not only does it give you the effects of the number that you roll, but it also does multiple hits at the same time. I also like that. So that 9 would have hit, done hit 9 times in a row. It's pretty great. And, okay, the thing I was actually going to say. I wanted to change Blood God to Red. But I thought that would be a little bit too... Uh, it's, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, uh, too... Uh, I can't even think of it. Oh, Jesus. If I remember it, I'll remember it. But yeah, it too, too vague. There you go. It would have been too vague as to why it, she would be called Red. But that's only because I actually pull on red and he has got the other day. The other day, the other week. And I do like that story a lot. I think it's pretty awesome how it's done its stuff. So, yes, then we have. For the current standings, it seems like Hifumi is winning. He did do pretty good in previous tournaments. In fact, he even got to sort of the uh, quarterfinals, I believe. I know that for a fact. But. Blood God seems to be doing her stuff too. I, I have hope for her. Smart funny, <laughs> but it needs And Blood God taking a stock. And Lugi. I feel so bad for these people. Lugi, he bested me in that training amiibo video. And Fumi takes a stock finally. So, who's going to end up being the winner of this match? It could be either Hifumi or Green Ninja, according to the stocks and percentages. But, Lugi, with his final smash takes everyone. He got rid of both of them at the same time. And if Blood God would have started KO. And Lugi just getting knocked out straight away by Hifumi. Oh my god, Hifumi, you're a madman. You are a madman, Hifumi. With his judge and all that. Oh, uh, who, who knows what's going to happen next? Is Green Ninja going to do some sneaky moves? Is he going to do a down air above the pit, do a media smash on Hifumi? Or is he going to... Or is Hifumi just going to bucket all of his shurikens? It's entirely possible that that's what's going to happen. Oh, he's going to get a lucky 9 off. There's always a 9. That's anywhere. He might have already performed the 9 on. I might not have seen it, but... We can only tell when it happens. So we'll deal with it then. But he is using his keys. And the keys are very important. He's got his air combos going. By the way, did you know that we're in Sonic Lost World right now? That's a game I haven't even bothered to put time into. Even though a long time ago I bought the uh, Sonic Bundle and it was going to sail this game. Haha. <laughs> but it looks like Green Ninja is going to take the fall for this one and Kifumi. What? Oh, right, it was his pressurized up B that moved him across. Unless he pulls off something pretty good, Green Ninja looks like he's going to be knocked out by Kifumi at any point. And like that, Hifumi gets knocked out by Green Ninja. What a play by him. Green Ninja. Well played, my son. I call him my son because, you know, there are those and Luigi still has his weird death stare with his clap. I don't even understand that at all. That just seems to be the thing. The Freeman Ninja. Well played, Hifumi. Well played, everyone, even. So now it's time. For the next match, with some changes to some of the Evos. Coming up with our fourth match, we have Seamus, previously Metroid Man, D Falx, the Mentor, and a Rock. Everyone loves rocks, right? You just throw them at people and they've been like, hey, what the hell? Or you could potentially kill someone if you throw it off a highway, but let's not get into that because it's a bit too depressing for this kind of video. Let's keep going! Look at the item and trophy of all time. I should trophy. Ugh. I changed Seamus to Seamus because I call Samus Seamus quite a lot. I even called it Seamus in the, the E3 video. And then I changed uh, Rock Man to just Rock because I thought that'd be funnier and it's easier to say. Because Fighting a rock is just hilarious in my eyes. Mega Man using his trusty mega moves like the Guts Arm and the Spark Drill and whatever they're called. I own the Mate Legacy Collections. I should know these moves. I should play these games. But as of this early recording, I've only beaten one and two through that Legacy Collection. <laughs> Oy vey, am I right? Am I right? 
Now, who's going to succeed in this match? It's still really hot in this room, Christ. I've got the window open, but I also have the blind shut so nothing else happens. Oh, who knows? Because Mighty Falcon Punch, Steve Falcon gets rid of the Mentor, just like that. And just as everyone remembers, or probably doesn't remember, the only customer the Defalks has is a Mighty Falcon Punch, because everyone loves a Falcon Punch. And Defalks gets taken out like that. And just like that, Seamus was getting knocked out, with Rock being the only one with three stocks. Rock stocks. Am I right or am I right? And Defalks does the down smash and knocks everyone out. Knocks the Rock out, and he does his thing, just like everyone else happens to do. Ah man, I'm excited, because some of the people that have already won the tournament were the, won the first round of this tournament. I'm, not, I'm excited to see how the rest of this stuff goes. Because if you couldn't already tell, I've put these together in level order. So we went from 1 to 2 to 3, and then order of the roster for each of these matchups. Which means that the very last round of this entire thing has the top 4 people that are often ready to win, going to fight against each other. So, so yeah, either Stabby or Pikachu is gonna move on with a level 50, but who knows? We'll just have to see when that happens. Meanwhile, back at the match, we have the Mentor, and we also have the Sheamus. One, why did go with the Sheamus? Sheamus and the Mentor with one stock each, and D Falks at 185%. Anything can knock him out, but is he going to perform some knees? Or he can do his down smash, and he slowly walks up, and he gets knocked. He, he, he affected himself in the up smash of Rock. How could he? And Seamus is, not going to lie, looking pretty up there in terms of probably going to lose and get fourth place in this match. Unless the mentor suddenly dies, which could always happen. It's Smash Bros. Anything can happen at any point. And look at that! Seamus and Mentor get knocked out. Who's fourth? Who's third? Who knows? Oh yeah, I, I should mention, uh, we're not going to do any uh, double elimination stuff. We're just doing single one for this tourney. We don't want it to go too long. You know. And D Falcon with his Smash Ball. Is he going to knock out the rock? He is! But is it going to be enough to get him dead? Because that's not that much percentage. See, there you go. It's not enough. So it's Deep Falks versus a Rock. Who's gonna win? Mega Man with his up smash. I, I, I'm, su I'm such a mean person teaching me the mean versus the up smash. Because look at that. That was that. This is a chain up smash that they have. Oh wow. Okay. And there are kids outside. They're cheering us on. Uh, actually, no. They're just around. Who is going to succeed? Well, their Deep Falks is looking pretty high up there. I have no idea. Because both of them are legible, and could be interesting to see in later matches. You could have thrown that way, you could have thrown the other way. I would have done a lot of good stuff. But who... I'm just wondering who at this point. Because it's very likely that both of them can be the winner. The Defalks doing his chain stuff. And, oh my god, Defalks with the mess up! The winner this round is a rock. Well played. You got a Bounty Hunter, an F-Zero Pilot, and a trainer, a personal trainer, all defeated by a pebble, or a rock. It's crazy. And they died at the exact same time, so it's a third place for both of them. Well played to them. Yeah, they had the exact same stuff and everything. Well played to them. And again, that's the Bash of Eight, so we'll see you in the next round with some new stuff. Yep, everyone, it's time to get into some of the big leagues. We've got Joshi, Newcomer Tech 9, a, a dog barking. They're definitely a part of this tournament. That's them. <laughs> okay. So, time for some interesting new development. We've got Joshi, Newcomer Tech 9, previously Mori, now Roy in a car, and Stabby Jr. Let's just move right in before the dogs start barking again. Christ! <laughs> I shouldn't get too mad. Like I s- Oh my god. 
So Tech 9 was also part of that Cornholio video that I did with Miiverse. And I changed Morty to Roy in the car because it's funny because of Roy. And then also we didn't want to get rid of the Morty, Rick and Morty references like we did when we mentioned Roy for the first time. And so we have Roy in the car. And we also have Joshi with the egg launch. And I think I just changed Joshi's color. Unless he was always blue, I can't remember. It's been a while, my dude. Mm. Ice cold drinks with a win. By the way, no one for the And Joshi lost the stock already? Jesus Christ. Who is the, the, the winner? I guess. Uh, Zounds, man. I, I should just do it. I could shut my window, but it's way too hot in here. It's, it's, a, it's a hard life. First world problems and shit. But yeah, Tech 9, because I, if you remember some of the earlier videos of Emerin, he basically compared the cloud to the clouds to the Tech 9 from Counter Strike, which I've played Counter Strike a lot more since then, and I can understand why Tech 9 is OP to the nerf. So Cloud is a Tech 9. Because it was basically the same promise that I did with XDDD. Mason, except it was with Cloud and Tech 9 with Emma. Yeah, I guess I didn't really explain Corrin one. Because, uh, Corrin, the announcer, some uh, people keep saying that uh, Corrin can be just change the corn so easily. So I thought, hey, what are corns that I can name Corrin? So I would prefer the only one that I could think of was Corn Holier. And so that's that. Joshi and Roy in the car with one stock, and Tech 9 with. Three whole stocks to his name. He really is the Tech Nine because he's defeated Stabby Jr. and he takes stock. Stabby Jr. with a final smash takes out Roy in a car just like that. Poor thing. No more memes. No more dreams. I think it was like one of the higher level ones. He was, he was the only level 36 in that match. I have a feeling that Tech Nine is going to win this and he's going to keep going forward unless Stabby Jr. somehow pulls it out of his ass. I'm not sure what he's pulling out of his ass, but he could do it. It could happen. Joshi! I feel so bad for him, because he also did get pretty far in earlier tournaments. Maybe it's because he was paired, uh, paired up with other people that probably shouldn't have been paired up with. But, you know, Joshi did, does do pretty good for 20 years, with Ego launching in that. Although Tech 9 can do anything at any moment, even with his limit breaks. He's got to Oh, he, I didn't even realize Cloud had a double wall jump! Wow! Uh, I have a feeling that when Smash Ultimate comes out, uh, Cloud and all that are gonna have the custom moves because why not? Savvy Jr. takes a stock. Joshi's at 198%. See so yeah, with the custom moves, uh, it's gonna. Maybe there's gonna be an update for Smash Wii U, who knows? And Tech 9 takes a stock. Everyone's at 1, but Yoshi's the only one at 199, so here, there he goes. And now it's a battle between Savvy Jr. and Tech 9. We're gonna have the pre the predecessor to Stabby, the one and only. Or we're gonna have one of the newest comers take over the position with Tech Nine. He could be anything. He could be nothing. Is he gonna get an Omni Slash off? He's probably gonna get an Omni Slash off. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Or is he gonna miss? He's gonna charge his limit. He can't limit break a final smash cloud. God damn. So calm yourself. He's just gonna stall with it. Oh my god. This poor guy, he's gonna get taken at any point! And with an Omni Snap, Omni Snap, I can confirm that Tech 9 is the winner. Well played, Mr. Tech 9, Mr. Clue. Nice outfit. You don't have the I haven't chosen outfit because that's gonna be a lot harder to find. Alright. And then there's all the stats. The builder's kills. Cloud Tech 9 did a lot of good job. Well, well done, my friend, well done. So now let's get on to the sick match of this. Which, oh boy, oh boy. Survival. People are yelling, it's probably because it's someone outside or something, they're just playing on the gun. What, what, oh, oh, sorry. Our next matchup, we have previously Martha, we have Marv Marv, so now you understand why Loose Loose is called that. Then we have Mario, Shootsy, and Blue Punch! Blue Punch being, well, a personal favorite of mine because of his legacy. But poor little Matt, can he get his stuff down to a team, down to a pulp, or whatever, in this stage of all places? 
And also, it's trying to note that Shootsy had the Splatoon thing before the Splatoon thing wasn't the Splatoon thing. Haha. <laughs> and then, I thought for a second that Mario was actually out. I don't know why, but I just thought that for a second. Ah, uh, let's go. Why did I change Loose Loose and Marth Marth to what they are? Because, well, I didn't think of anything funny for Marth, so I went with Marth Marth, which fit. So then I was like, hey, we might as well make Lucina fit the exact same way. So we have Loose Loose instead of Lucina Lucina, because that obviously wouldn't fit. So you have that. Now who's gonna win this match? It's gonna be the dogs! Of course they will! Blue Punch takes out two people at once! Blue Punch are the only two stocks of the match. And the dogs are the only box of the map now. I mentioned them, but they be just probably they wanna beat all themselves. They always have the attention. Ugh. And Blue Punch takes a stock because he was not too far away. Poor thing. And shoots he takes another stock. This poor me fighter. The only one that's left is going to be Ashley. And Marth Marth taking stock as well. My Christ, Blue Punch is savage. But then again, he doesn't have good recovery, so it's entirely possible that Blue Punch will not be able to make it up. And he used his counter! Surprises, but one of the few counters that I actually saw. The, but the Olimar's Pikmin are getting knocked out by the enemy. Look. It's got a Kero Punch, it can happen at any time, who knows? If I can finish up my drink, it's a bad idea. Everyone's at one stock except for Blue Punch, which if Blue Punch can get knocked far enough, will probably spell death for him anyway. That's so up to whoever's who. And Shootsy is eliminated. Poor thing. Poor Shootsy. He's, he, was, he was a simple man. He was a simple Smirsh. Back in the old days, from the very beginning, I created him to be just a Smash, just to look ridiculous. And Smash was one of them. Blue Punch takes a stop. So all we have is uh, a, a, a ship captain, a lord, I don't really know if I remember, sorry. And then we also have a wireframe boxer, which I have a fairly certain opinion that Blue Punch is going to win here. Let's write him down, it's Blue Punch! This is way better than League. Haha, <laughs> I'm so funny. So rest in peace, Shootsy, Amalio, and Marth Marth. They did their best. <laughs> Lil Mac also doing that amazing KO job. So. It's time for the very last batch of them. We've got two more matches to go before we get to the qualifiers, quarterfinals even. Let's see who they are. Ah yes, now we're getting into the real shit. We've got Puffball, Dr. Woe, Knees, and Moidera getting into those 40s. Let's see what happens. We have a gamer. Hey gamer. Shout out to the Siva Cord. Alright. So, no real changes to anyone. I think I gave Kirby his inhale back, so we have more interesting matches, I guess. And then we also have Knees being who he is, like he normally is. Just trying to be Lucas as much as he can, but without Lucas being there. Poor Lucas, though. I feel for that man. Boy, even. I don't. I don't I, I doubt this is old. I think this is old news by now, but I only found out like this year that I, I didn't even realize that in the, the Japanese eShop for the Wii U, they do have Virtual Console Mother 3. Because, okay, why did you not bring it over here? Although it's obvious why they didn't bring it over here, because it was never released over here. But it's entirely possible they could be released at some point. And these! Getting very high up there. Everyone's in the 100% and Puffle takes first stock. It's hard to see these Titans fall like this. But then again, they are in their high level counterparts. And they're not killing everyone else like they probably should be. And like that, Kirby has a final smash with a sword. It's gonna knock out Dr. Woe with Need remaining as the only free stock left in the match. Look at everyone play. I don't know who's gonna win this match. I have a feeling that Moidor's gonna pull it from behind somehow. With his pushy gyroid. And I think, oh yeah, I think I gave Moidor the tree counter. Because that's one of my favorite down specials for him as well. And like that, Ronnie KK Thunder knocks two stocks out again from Puffball and Dr. Woe. Well played, Knees. You're about to die at some point. You are flashing and all that. But it just takes one move to get knocked out as simple as possible. 
could happen any time. Like, it could happen right now. <laughs> wow, it's like I'm a psychic or something. But Nise is, Nise is probably looking to be like the winner of this match. And I think I already said this. But no, it actually, I don't think I've ever said this, but if you want to know the reason why I prefer Lucas to Ness, uh, it's his up smashes and also the uh, the grab for the rope snake. I find those a lot easier to have than what Ness has normally. Puffball and Moira are taking their stocks, and it takes one shot from that, maybe a little bit more, just to knock out Dr. Woe, just to get that man out of here. Or is he going to pull up from his one sock, downfall, knock knees into next dimension? It can happen, you don't know. But if a throw, he throws him over there. And then he down smashes and he does nothing. Oh, knees! This could be a thing! Dr. Woe could pull it from behind. Just play carefully. Okay. <laughs> well played, he got beaten by a small child. Knees. There you go. Miss. You spelled. You said knees wrong in so goddamn. So there you go, you got your stats there. Now it's time for the very last match, which, if you couldn't figure it out, we got our highest of highs right at the top. Please get excited. Yep, this is it. Your last match to qualify for this next, well, these next couple of matches. Round eight of the prelims, I guess. Although we already have to leave Anyways. Pac Flan, Klaus, Sabby, and Pika P. These guys, very old amiibos. Either that, or I can't remember when they were bought. I used Lucas quite a lot. So, yes, yeah, Stabby being the very first one, and Pika P being the second one I ever had. Let's watch and see how this match goes. Uh, I think if Sabby's gonna win, I'll continue his like little origin for it, little documentary even. But I'm, I'm fairly certain that Stabby's going to steamroll through the competition yet again because Stabby's an asshole. As we've all seen. I mean, look at him right now. He's the one with the 53%. He's doing well for what he is. Even though Pika P's winning now. But he does. Now I have a feeling for Lucas. Because Lucas, again, like I mentioned in the previous match, one of my favorite characters to use. He's got that up smash potential. He's got one of the most powerful up smashes in the game. And I think there's quite a few that beat him out. Obviously, Shulk with Smash power he gets a pretty powerful up smash, but Lucas is very high up there in terms of power for his up smash. And that's what I love. Because look at that. Pac Flan taking a stock. I think if he's doing low. Is anyone going to knock out Stabby? He is doing pretty bad, even though he is on his third stock. Still. And Klaus is doing pretty good too. I want to, I want Klaus to keep going, and I guess not. Klaus is taking a stock, and Stabby being his free. Stabby can always make a mistake. That's always a thing that could happen. Or he could just do his dickish moves, like always. And then Pac Plan was on fire hydrant. I think I gave Pac Plan the freaky fruit, so that we have more interesting fruit, fruit play, I guess. And he, and Pac, and Klaus freezes Pika Pee because he can, and he hits Pika Pee away with a stick. And Stabby just takes out Pika P's stock, just like that. I have no idea what happened. Pika P and Stabby, they should be friends. They're like the very first two. They were fighting against each other back in the old days. But, oh, oh boy. What a shame. If there's grabs that aren't effective, come, oh, he made it back with a grab. That feels good for Klaus. Hooray for that. Uh, okay. Like that, Klaus takes stock, and it seems like Stabby's the only one that's probably gonna win this. I'm giving high hopes to Klaus to get second place at least, or at least have Stabby somehow get completely eviscerated in these few moments. It could happen. Just do a good up smash, Klaus, do it. On that side smash, there you go. There you go, equal playing grounds, even though Stabby's at 0%, so he's got no losing power at all. Anything can happen at this point. Just play safely, everybody else. Oh uh, no, the dreaded up smash! Lakes up smash, pretty pretty stupid, all things considered. And if you remember from the Gauntlet video from way back... Oh boy, Pika-P! The second level 50 Pokemon, or level 50 Amiibo, 
gets fourth place in this match. Crazy. Is Pac Man gonna survive? Pac Man survive. Oh, Klaus. Klaus, no! Klaus is dead. And Pac Man killed him. Okay, no, Savvy killed him, but details. And with, with this amazing. I guess it was home field advantage the whole time. Unless Pac Flan somehow pulls it away from Stabby in last moment. That would be insane. Come on, Pac Flan. I believe in you. Pac Flan. Are you going to be the first amiibo to overthrow Stabby of all things? Are you going to play nice? Come on, Pac Flan. I believe in you. Those edge guards. Is he going to do it? No! Pack Flan! I believed in you! He was at 193%. Okay. I guess it was a given. Stabby moves on. Of course he does. Of course he does. Stabby the ass. He does his, he does his stuff. But Pack Flan and Lucas did definitely level up at that point. 555% five, five, five on Pikachu. And 653 on Stabby. Christ's sake, man. Christ's sake. So, now that we have that, we finally have our quarterfinals ready. And luckily for me, we don't have to do any more scanning shit after this, because it's just those eight that we have left. So, we'll see you in a bit. Alright. Now, to start off with our quarterfinals... We'll do two one-on-ones, so that means we have eight people here, which goes down to four, and then we'll go down to two, and then that'll be it. So we have Ashley and Roberto battling it out. In, time, in the meantime, we're going to draw some lines. It's exciting, isn't it? So yes. Such a tournament so far, am I right? Who's going to win this match? Are we going to have a fake grill, or are we going to have a robot? Because both are fine now. Let's not go to that point. Everyone's just staring at each other right now, not doing anything. I mean, there was that one part when they were just kind of down attack, uh, down smashing at one point, both Roberts, during one of the tournament tournaments. Whatever. No. Uh, yeah. I don't think I ever said this, but I think some of the best videos that I've done, as you've seen in the videos I'm proud of section, are some of the Emerald videos. I think they're pretty good. I like them a lot. Because they were funny. But it's, 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 it's... Nah, that's not good. And Ashley gets off the final smash. Oh, it's entirely possible that Roberto and Ashley are going to fight it out. And the winner's going to be someone who's going to win. <laughs> Oy vey. I heard that this tournament goes very quickly because we already have 48 minutes of raw footage. <laughs> I normally do what I normally do and record each of these fights separately so I don't waste life and memory, whatever. But I wanted to try something different and secretly this is actually a test to see if Elgato is what it is and I know how to battle it for the next Odyssey video. So whatever happens, happens. Hopefully this tournament doesn't go too fast or too long. And let's just wiggle the C stick just a little bit just to make sure that things don't go off in the middle of the match like it did with that one time. I think it wasn't double or that. Well, I'm okay, gonna do it the sideways. And Robert Slip Gyro, which I believe is Slip Gyro. Yeah, it's a Slip Gyro. I, th I think I already said this, but uh, the difference between Roberto and Robert, uh, a family bot, is that uh, Roberto has custom moves and family bot is the neutral. Um, it's the neutral amiibo. Because, yeah. And I hope that someday I can fulfill the entire roster of Smash Wii U, we have Amiibos, and then I'll eventually be able to waste more money, I mean, use my money to good points with the Smash Alpha Amiibo, which currently only exists with the Inkling and Grizzly. And then we also have possibly some of the new designs for some of the old other characters being put into Amiibo. We could have new Ganon, new Link, New Zelda, some of them. Uh, I, I, it's entirely possible that some, there's going to be some new Ikes. Uh, I, I don't know who else. Maybe there's some new Mario ones, but who knows? Oh, and with the final smash, Ashley gets taken off another stock. 
Uh, uh, I'm gonna say for this match only, though, like though this the quarterfinals are gonna be free stocks because considering how long this is taking with these plays, my God, Roberto, you almost knocked out Ashley, you crazy thing. Uh, with these plays, uh, the semi-finals and final, uh, semi-finals are gonna be two stock, and then for the finals we're gonna have like a free stock again. Because no, actually, just keep it all free stock. It's fine. Because I thought things were going to take a little bit too long anyway, but as as of right now, it seems pretty good. Check it out, it's pretty good. Ashley is doing pretty good. I should stop. I feel for Ashley. Ashley's, uh, Ashley is my favorite. Not necessarily of all time, but she's my favorite. I like her a lot. Ashley. Uh, no. I should, I should stop while I'm at even anywhere. What am I saying? Um, let's see. Ashley with the 64% and Roberto with the 54%. 10% difference. They're just standing and keeping their ground, just doing random smash attacks because they can. At some point, one of them is going to hit another one in the face and take some damage from them. With the Roberto and the air dodges, whatever. That's pretty good. <laughs> Roberto does have a charge for neutral B. He could use that at any point. I don't remember what neutral B it was. I think it's just the, the, the funny enough, the neutral neutral B. Uh, I could check right now. Let's see what Roberto's attack is. Oh, it's on the other page. <laughs> I remember. Roberto has. Oh, where is it? It's somewhere. Oh, it's up there. I think Roberto has a two. And while it's gone, Ashley takes a life. And Roberto moves oh. on. Well played, Roberto. You took 4 minutes and 39 seconds to defeat Ashley. That put Roberto down. And we move on to our next pairing! Now it's time for our next pairing! It's Green Ninja versus a Rock. Who will win? Robot, Rock, Boy, or a Frog? Yes, I believe in the frog. Now, there's something weird that I noticed. Uh, I don't know why it's... It, it's weird to me. I don't think it's weird to anyone else. Unless it is. But, uh, Mega Man. I found this out whilst I was doing some of the stuff, like changing the names and the outfits, whatever. And the custom moves for Rock here, whilst I was doing it. For some reason, he has no animation when he's standing still. Like, he, like he is just a sprite. I can understand why that is, but... It's weird to just see a static model in the customization screen instead of a moving model like you normally would get for an idle move. Idle stand at least. It's weird, just to me. But well, let's find out. Um, you know, this actually could be a good point to start uh, with the whatever. Greninja has the shifting shuriken, the shadow strike, the high capacity pump, and death. No, he also got the substitute ambush, so he has the more powerful ambush. And then after that, you have Mega Man, who's got something on him. I know it's him. Uh, do -do -do, that's the freeze. Uh, he's got Shadow Blade, the Ice Slasher, he's got Beat the Bird, he's got a Skull Barrier. So, he's doing pretty good for who he is. I don't know why I didn't mention Ashley in Roberto's move. Even though I mentioned Roberto's neutral B at the very end. It, it's fine. But I'm excited for the next match, because it's going to be Cloud versus Little Mac. It's like, who is more anime than who? We can only find out in due time with others. My thoughts. What are you on? And it looks like Rock is doing pretty well for himself. More of his dying and all. Two stocks each, but Green Ninja seems to be taking the lesser of two evils. And by that I mean he's not really doing that good. <laughs> Funny. So yeah. Doing his flurry attack and, and standing still, because he is, and I guess that's just how things happen. And he throws Green Ninja off the side of the stage. Is he gonna do anything or is he just gonna stand there in his really weird neutral stance? No idle animation to be seen. Even though he does have an idle animation, it's just strange to see nothing. But I guess that's just a remnant of his uh, sprite days. But, you know, it is what it is. And 
Can Hawk makes it alive. I'm surprised he has a wall drop as well. I, 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 I didn't even take the time to look into which characters have wall jumps and not with uh, Smash 4. I'll hope to have ultimate. I can be able to look into that all I want. And I probably won't anyway. Remington. 196% on Green Ninja. He's hanging in there for dear life. Who knows what's going to happen when he eventually runs his course. And there he goes. That Green Ninja. By, by Joe. Whoa. That was a high launch. That's probably because of the percentage. With his Ice Slasher. Is he going to use it again? No, he's just going to do the throw. And Rock has two stocks to one on Green Ninja. Although he could take a stock at any point. Entirely possible. And it's also entirely possible that the Smash Ball could do anything with anyone else. But there you go, everyone's on neutral's prospect. Rock's got his stuff and he's got the Smash Ball. He's gonna pull up the super fighting robot. There he goes. Fighting to save the world. Ah! And that was the hype moment, and Rock is a winner. <laughs> we got a robot this is a rock in the next match. Next lineup. That's funny. Look at that, he doesn't even have any mo motion there either. It's just like a normal it's, it's I don't understand I, I, I do understand but I don't understand at the same time. It's like I don't even know. So it's time for our third match of the quarterfinals. I like where it's going already. Aldi versus Goldie, Tech 9 versus Blue Punch. Let's go. We got our Cloud representative. It's funny because it's high up in the air. And we also have a Little Mac who's funny because he can't jump for shit. Because he's a boxer. But both of these guys have high power. And also, I love the uh, Woody World stage. I still think Woody World is one of my favorite LPs just because of its editing status and how I managed to do it in less than a month. There's still stuff left for it that I haven't done, like uh, Wall Extra and some other stuff, but I still love that LP for what it is. And including all the Miiverse stuff and making an unintentional Miiverse memorial video with all that. Still remember that four special stage Miiverse post. That classic, classic post. Always remember that. It will be on my Discord server for however long it is. It might be there, but you know. Blue Punch did take out Tech 9 stock right away. Who knows who's gonna survive? It's probably gonna be the Tech 9. Because if it is, it's gonna be funny just to have Cloud versus Stabby. Because I'm not gonna be around the bush. Stabby's gonna completely beast against Ness. That's gonna be the thing. Like, there's no, no doubt about that. But let's just hope that Tech 9, for what it is right now, Beats up Blue Punch with a limit break, maybe? Or he's just gonna do normal combos? Or is he gonna save that for a jump if he needs it? That's probably the case, unless he uses his limit break right now. Let's find out. Oh no, never mind! Blue Punch is beasting it with just three stocks. Or is he going to take a stock now and just sh shoot in the face whatever I just said? Who knows? Who knows? He misses KO Punch. And it's entirely possible that Tech 9 could just take a stock right now at any point. He does have the power from his Haymaker. Blue Punch does a thing. And Cloud can't make it back. Free stock with Blue Punch. My god. Blue Punch, you are a maniac. Little fat. Okay, now. With Dr. Lewis in the background, he's definitely a little fat. I mean, what? A two minute match? Two minutes? Two minutes? Christ! God, I need a haircut. But anyways, it's off topic. It's time for our last match, which I'm very certain you already know what's gonna be. Okay, I'm just gonna write down Stabby right now for the winner of this match, alright? Okay? And if Knees ends up winning, then that's his problem. And yeah, so he's gonna end up being the crossed out in this. But I'm fairly certain this guy is going to be the one on this. Because he's too OP. Also, we have this uh, Donkey Kong Country music, which I like a lot. So, yeah. So, Nies, now is, is your time to show me up. And 
be one of the first amiibo to actually decapitate or dethrone Stabby from his win record. It could happen. He's taken stock before. It's entirely possible that Stabby could end up being dead. He, he will never be able to uh, lose to a level 1 Falcon or any other amiibo of that. Yet, we don't know. But like that, Nia gets his first stock out, and it's almost pretty evident that Stabby's gonna take over the world. Because we all know what it's like. I could probably, for the fun of it, just uh, do another one-on-one -on -one match with the winner of the final. So yeah, we'll have that. I put his PK bonfire, Nia puts up the firewall, it's like he's using his internet safely or something. What? That's a joke that people can make. But very soon people have. But who knows? Ah, Stabby has 150. He's 176. He's taken. You know, that was a spark shot. How did that not kill Stabby? I'm surprised. Nintendo game is bugged. Stabby's too OP. Please nerf. Even though the only way to nerf Stabby is to get rid of him altogether. Or maybe not, who knows. 200%! He's at 200%! He's at double your percent, Ness! Kill him! There you go! 2 to 1! Or 2 to 2, even. 100% on knees. He could still die. Although Stabby could still perish. If you want to show up for Stabby. We have no idea what's going to happen. Anything could happen at this point. We don't even know. We have a dog barking, though. Dog's probably rooting for Stabby, like he always would do. Oh, he dodged the up smash attack. He's able to get, he's out manipulating the Stab Master. But is he going to keep it going? He's got that air combo. He's doing really good for a, for a 43 amiibo fighting into level 50. I'm really proud of knees. And he's dead. Oh well. Come on, my dude. Defeat Stabby while you can. Dethrone him. Do oh you missed your up B. You probably could have gone off the stage and ended up dying from that. That was entirely possible. Like if I was him in his shoes right now, I would use an up B to try and knock out Stabby from the left. From that point when it starts freaking you out this, but he's over here now, so anything can happen at this point. Yeah, see, it's it's not really reliable to use Ness up smash in this case because I don't think it does enough damage in order to get Stabby out of the ring right now. But his side smash, however, could do really great if he could like deflect the bomb back at Stabby or not. I mean, just try it. Try it, knees. Just try a side smash. Just try it. Or do a throw. That throw knocks Stabby out. Who knows? This could be the ultimate upset. If Knees ends up overtaking Savvy, but it's entirely possible that he's gonna take a death there. Ah, oh, what a shame. He did so well. Ness did so well in that match. I praise you, Ness, for fighting so valiantly against the one and only Stabby. Well played. Oh, I spammed that a little bit too quickly. Don't know how it was spammed, but I guess it was. What a shame. So now, thankfully, we don't have to rescan any amiibos. We just gotta get on to the semi-finals right now. Yep, semi-finals. It's time for a robot versus a rock. Yeah, let's go. Got color variations. Red white second color is scheme based on the colors of the accessory in Japan. Wow, Japan. Who could remember the powers that be in Japan? Also, it looks like we got some Galaxy 2 music going on in the background. Pretty great. Who is gonna win? We got a robot versus a robot, but one of them is actually a rock in disguise. We don't even know. We also have a, a, what even a Spanish robot? It's Roberto, I don't know. Could be anything, could be nothing. But who's gonna win against Blue Punch and Stabby? Is the question. The sound. Look at him go. I have a feeling that Rock is going to be bat battling Stabby in the final round. I have a feeling. Unless Roberto somehow pulls some crazy media smashes out. But then again, Rock can pull some media smashes out of his own. And Roberto throws a pen on the floor. No, 
Roberto takes uh, stock out of his life because rock kills. What killed the robot? The rock. And I don't mean Dwayne Johnson. And I don't mean obvious jokes like that. Anything can happen. Because that's the motto of every tournament ever. Anything can happen. Yeah, that's all you can really explain about it. Is he gonna get him in the up smash chain? Or is Rock gonna take a stock right now? Or is Rock going to shock the audience? <laughs> Who knows? Good stuff. Nah, shouldn't mention it. It's too poisonous, too irrelevant for the video at hand. Who knows? Mega Man. I mean, <laughs> this is, sure is exciting semi finals. Anything can happen. I could put items on just for the shit of it, but. You know, I had a, I have a feeling that Stabby's gonna win another tournament. And Rock has got his free stocks, whereas Roberto only has the one. And Rock is dead! He was killed by a rogue up smash from Roberto. He does have a good up smash, that guy. But I think his other stuffs, his like other smash attacks, they aren't really that powerful in my eyes. Like the down smash isn't really that good. But I have yet to really utilize them. I used to main Rob a lot back in Brawl. Back when uh, I only knew how to use B moves and his upper cover was too good to be true. And that's why I used uh, Kirby a lot as well. So yeah. And I think I already said it, but fun fact, the first character I ever played as in Smash Brothers as a whole was Pokemon Trainer. Because I liked Pokemon! And I didn't even know. And Rock is the winner. Of the semi final match round one. Which means that Rock is probably going to fight Stabby. We don't know. Anything can happen, like always. Bob is collapse. Now let's just get into Blue Bug and Stabby, shall we? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got a boxer versus a swordsman. Who soon to not have a hook shot? Let's see how well this goes. On Pokemon Stadium 2, apparently. Is it? Yeah, it is! It's like Pokemon Stadium 2 music. What a, what a, what a wacky concept. A Pokemon Stadium playing Pokemon Stadium music. Now, as you've seen, Blue Punch has some pretty goddamn good smash attacks. But, can he defend Zabby? He is level 39, he's a full 10 levels below Stabby. And Ness, while he was still higher than Blue Punch, Ness did a pretty damn good job against Stabby. So anything could happen at that rate. He's got a KO Punch, it could happen. Is he gonna get into range? He's gonna KO Punch, I believe in him. So he's got a counter off. Come on, KO Punch, or is he gonna get knocked out of it? No! With a smash attack, Stabby gets knocked out. This is insane, ladies and gentlemen. I really hope the Blue Punch takes Stabby out. That would be ridiculous. Because the first, and again, fan favorite for, for, my, for me anyway, Blue Punch. Gigamac! When you knock out Stabby like he always used to. He's doing smash attacks all over the place, like down smash and all that. He's doing pretty good. And with an up smash, he knocks out Stabby. This is incredible. <laughs> I am surprised that one person out of everyone, Stabby, is going to get overthrown finally after all these years, unless he pulls off some crazy one combos. It's entirely possible. So, I guess in post memoriam, we can explain how Stabby got his name. Uh, if you remember back in the old days, it used to be Ling Ling, because I used to watch a lot of Thor's Gamer at that time, so. Thoughts together was a thing, and for a while he was like that. And then when Pikachu get launched into the thing, he was named Ling Ling, and then Stabby was changed to Link Link, just to contrast. And then after scarring a couple of people who joined together movie, uh, changed Link to Stabby, and now that's where he is today, as a Stabby. I think he used to be Fist Deity Link at one point, but now he's just a uh, Skyloft outfit. <sighs> Let's just watch. We don't know what can happen. Blue Punch, I believe in you, specifically. You can knock him out. Just don't get thrown too far. Don't play near the edges. Just get near the middle. Come on, come on. I'm like sweating a little bit more than usual. I mean, yeah, the hot weather and all, but 
This could be the first time an amiibo takes out Stabby. The undisputed champion of the amiibo. The very first guy with a KO punch. This could be it. This could be it. At any point, he can knock him out. A shield break? Ah, oh, come on. You could KO punch. That would have done something. And he's out of his range. Is Stabby going to end up beasting Blue Punch? Like he would always do. I feel so bad for these amiibo. They get so close. That was even closer than the other guy. Like, Zounds. And just like that, uh, time for the final match, I guess. In just a bit. Final match of the final tourney of Smash Wii U. And we have the reigning man, reigning giant Stabby. And we just have a rock. So let's see how Rock does against Stabby. It'd be funny if he actually wins against Stabby because, you know, it's a Rock that beats up Stabby. And he's the eventual winner. That would be insane though, just to snipe Stabby right at the end. But we can only find out in due time. Whilst they're just staring at each other, Rock does his thing. He does have the most edited percentage. Percentage right now. Anything can happen at this point. He grabs Stabby, and he does, he does a dance. Zounds. And let's see, what does Link have in terms of custom moves? He's a, underneath Little Mac. He's got Hero's Bow, Boomerang, Spin Attack, and Meteor Bomb. Those are his only custom moves, so he basically just got the one, two, one, three. And we already went over Mega Man, so we already know what he's got. But, as it turns out right now, Rock is doing pretty bad. He's got higher percentages. He's not going to be able to dodge some of those up smashes. The devilish up smash of Link. He's really mean, that Like, Jesus Christ. Eventually, we'll be able to take on the Stabby whenever it happens. But we'll never know. And like that, Stabby already has insurance for his next match. He's going to launch people with that. He knew exactly when the invulnerability was going to take off, and he was just going to use that final smash straight away. Just to abuse a rock, just that little bit further. What a crazy thing he is. Like, really. Also, we got to commend that, uh, that Mega Man side smash range for being a charge shot. It's, it's pretty great as it is. I, I do like it a lot. I mean, just check that out. <laughs> Is he gonna knock out a stock from Stabby at least? He can just, just do an up tilt. An up tilt would be good. Just getting a nice sweet spot to an up tilt. Or is he gonna get the up smash tr uh, treatment again? What was that? Just then, he just kind of jumped and did nothing. As did Stabby. He just stood there and did nothing. He throws him away and a bit of boomerang catches him off guard. And Rock seems like he's gonna lose this match. It's a shame to hear him go, but, oh man, this has been an exciting tournament, for what it is, for the very last one. These stages will be great to see again in silkier HD than it used to be. Okay, it won't be that cruel. I mean, this game is still fantastic for what it is, but I'm not really playing it that much anymore, other than to satiate my weight before Ultimate release. Which is going to be until December. That's six months. <laughs> okay. 111 for Rock, man. Or just Rock. And we have Stabby. He's got 23% of two stocks. This poor abuse of a simple Rock. How could you do this to a Rock, Stabby? That's very, very cruel. I can't believe you. It's all your fault, Stabby. All of it. You could have let a rock won the tournament. That would have been funny if you just let a rock win. But no, you decided to be your usual self and let no one win. But Rock's got him in the up smash combo. Just like he treats his victims, Stabby is getting a taste of his own medicine. He's dropping down faster into the same up smash. Oh my god, what is going on? There's no way the rock man's gonna survive this next stock. He's Every person that Stabby has fought one-on-one -on -one this entire bracket 
He's gotten into one stock. And Stabby, obviously, is the winner. Well played, Stabby. And well played, everyone else in this tournament. All the way from Mega Mario to whatever your guy's name is. All the, from Mega Mario to Ashley. From Link to Mega Man. You all did good, fellas. And you all deserve a treat. But not right now, because I want to try my hand once again. To send off Stabby in style, I'm gonna get me in there. And I'm gonna have Roy, because Roy was how I beat him the last time. Let's see how this goes, ladies and gentlemen. It could be good or it could be bad, but I have very high hopes that it's going to be bad. Kinda. New Star Blue Cheek. Well done, Zelda. Oh, I mean Nintendo. I know how Stabby works, so you just gotta play carefully. I'm gonna have to get used to no dog rolling. I wonder if in Smash Ultimate they raise the level cap for Amiibo so they can go to level 100. It'd be crazy. But I can understand if you just keep it at 50. It's already pretty crazy as it is. I mean, just check out Stabby and Pikachu to an extent. He's already taken me out and he's at 34%. Christ, my dude. Well, that's what I want. I wasn't really paying attention to my own percentages. Not gonna lie, I was just looking at Stabby the whole time thinking it was me. I don't know why. Okay, nope. Oh, I timed that too badly. Oh, come on. No, you don't. Family. Oh, I missed that. No, you don't. No. Okay, he's got the final smash. Stabby, you're too good at this video game. Christ. And that is that, I guess. So, just because I know this match is going to end by the time I finish this sentence, I'd like to thank you all for watching this tournament, this very last tournament. I'm sure there'll be more in the future when Ultimate comes out and they get more Amiibos. Blah de blah de blah, things can happen. It's a goodbye to Smash Bros. Wii U and 3DS to an extent. And it was it was fun to play. And yeah, will always remember me verse for what it is. I'll still have to, all the screenshots that I've taken just so I can say that I've taken those screenshots. And like that, we end Smash 4. You had a good legacy, and you may still live on, but Ultimate's probably going to take over everything in the world. <laughs> GG, no re. <laughs> See you whenever the video happens next. Goodbye, everybody. Time for a bit of an interesting announcement.